It is currently just before 7 a.m. on a Sunday and I never usually wake up this early on a weekend, but the reason I am up is because I'm such a great sister. Um, I'm picking up my sister from the airport. She's just arrived. She was in the States and yeah, she chose one of the earliest flights to arrive in Sydney. So here we are. Express pickup. Let's try and get this in and out in 15 minutes. That's why I go to the gym. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got me. Just so you can stop using my Canada Cup, Janice. I got your cup from Seattle. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty, hey? Yeah. And then I Hello. got this from Pike Place. Like actually from Pike yeah, Place? Yeah, actually from Pike Place. Oh, yeah, wow. I like this. I like this color. I think we have enough cups for now. We don't need to buy any more. Ooh, that looks so nice. We got <clears throat> turkey, bacon, bread, avocados, or $1.50 a pop. And eggs. Hey, not bad. When you have got toast and you don't want it to get soggy, this is what you do. So like, it doesn't lay flat and the condensation doesn't make it wet. Okay, my sister are debating how much this, was, this would actually cost at a cafe. So we have <clears throat> two pieces of toast, scrambled eggs, avo and bacon. I'm saying like this would probably cost like $12 at a cafe. How much are you saying? Like 15, 16. I think I spend more time at a cafe Fif than you. <laughs> you do. I'm always like, I can cook this at home. I don't need to go out to eat. No, I think it's like 12, 12.50. Wow. No way for scrambled eggs, avo, toast and bacon. You're dreaming. What are you, 1920s? <laughs> Not even that. Okay, let me know in the comments whether you think I'm right or my sister's right. If you can tell, but we are currently in Chatswood. Chatswood is one of my favorite places in Sydney to get food, so I'm super excited to be partnering up with Chatswood Westfield and also the New South Wales government to tell you all about their two week Chatswood food trail event. Okay, so for the next two weeks, from the 16th of September to the 30th of September, there's going to be cooking demonstration for kids and adults. There's going to be live uh, performances. And there are six giant food photo moments scattered all around, and they all have code words. And if you grab a food passport from the counter here, and you fill in all the code words here, and you hand it back, you get a free gift. And you also get to be in the running to win a $1,000 Westfield gift card. And there are also people on roller skates handing out these vouchers that give you $10 off that Hawker Lane. Thank you. <laughs> so um, that's exactly where I'm going to go. That's where I'll go before I find all the codes. So I did like a walk around all of Hawker Lane to see like what I felt like eating and I landed on this place called Noodle Warriors and I got their Hungry Warriors ripped noodles. 
It has tomato, egg, and it also has zhajar, which is like black bean sauce with pork mince. It looks very beautiful. If I were to be extremely shallow, I think that, you know, this looks, this looks like it's really delicious. In fact, when I opened up my box, someone was walking across and she was like, um, where did she get this? These noodles, I kind of like was peering into the window. She was like making it to order. The mince is savory and flavorful. Let me try the noodles. This is actually really hard to navigate because they filled up the box very, very full. So there's not a lot of wriggle room for me to get an anchor on these noodles. These noodles are super so thick. Look at this, that's what, that's what it looks like. It's like a cloth of noodles. The mince, it's super flavorful and it's nice to have a crunch of the carrots and the cucumber as well. I do wish that these noodles are a bit chewier. It reminds me of the Biang Biang noodles that I've had. Um, I think it would go nice with some additional Chinese black vinegar as well. I didn't even realize it, but there are also potatoes in this dish as well. Okay, while I'm here, I decided to try something else as well. I have gotten some lamb skewers from Lamb and Cumin. Lamb isn't really my protein of choice. I usually gravitate towards beef or chicken, but since I am at a shop called Lamb and Cumin, I decided we're getting Lamb and Cumin skewers. This is actually really good. The reason I don't usually go for lamb on the first go is because sometimes I find lamb a bit gamey. But this one, this particular one doesn't have any gaminess. Cumin has like an earthy nastiness. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, okay, I have pretty much got all my codes. So I'm gonna come back to this counter and see what prizes I can get. Thank you, you have all of these prizes to choose from. So I can choose any of these? Any of these and we will give you some stickers as well. That's a ramen curing. What is that? So this is our dumpling stress ball. It comes in this little cute case. Thank you. Okay, you know that food passport that I was filling out? In addition to getting a little gift, you also get to go in the running to win a $1,000 Westfield gift card. And if you upload any of the photos you've taken onto Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Chadswood Food Trail, you go into the running to win one of five $200 Westfield dining vouchers. So yeah, tag me in it as well if you do take a photo because I want to see, I want to see like how you guys pose. I never know how to pose in photos. Hello, I have just parked my car. Um, I'm actually going to be doing something I'm super excited but also nervous. Probably equal parts excitement and nervousness. For this, I'm actually going to BuzzFeed. I'm going to BuzzFeed to film a segment. I think it's called Chef's Try. I know it's called Chef's Try. And yeah i'm gonna be cooking and then we're gonna be trying other people's dishes and then rating it a score out of 10. <sighs> i have i like i know what i'm gonna be cooking and i actually practiced a couple times before this by a couple i mean 20. <laughs> i'll be eating this dish every day for the for the, the for the next week but i've just parked my car and yeah we are heading to the BuzzFeed office here in Sydney. Whew, I'm excited and I'm also nervous, but I should be good. Okay, I'm currently at the BuzzFeed Tasty Kitchen. This is where they make all these dishes. It's so cool to see the behind the scenes of everything. I've watched 
a lot of tasty videos and I've always wondered what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I was actually standing right here, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> It's very, very cool. Yeah, so I made a um, stir fry noodle dish dry, that I think um, tastes and pretty all right, but we will, uh, we will see what everybody else thinks once we're, once we're onto the tasting. We are currently in Harbourfield because I am finally trying this place that I've been meaning to try for the longest time. I say this so much in all my videos. We are going to a place called Happy Field. I cannot wait to try their pancakes and I cannot wait to try like their egg muffins. They look so good. All the pictures that I've seen, amazing. I am here on a weekday, so maybe that's why it wasn't too difficult to find parking. Um, I found one in like five minutes, which I think it's pretty good. I have been in situations like in Surrey Hills where I spent about 25 minutes just to find a park. So I've just arrived at Happy Field and I've ordered their happiest meal. I was wondering like what is their most popular dish here and that's what they told me. And you know this is exactly what I wanted to order and this is exactly what I wanted to try anyway. I also got a coffee, I got a soy cap because why not? Yo, the coffee is delicious. Okay, I am very, very, very excited to try this. So the first thing that I'm trying is their McLovin muffin. It's got eggs, it's got cheese, it's got a chicken sausage patty. That's really good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. One of my favorite breakfast items at Macca's is the sausage and egg McMuffin. And this reminds me so much of that. This muffin is amazing, but I really, really want to try their pancakes. They've also got Kepi Sayad Mata, which I've had before and I also really, really enjoy. These pancakes are soft and fluffy. We've got like a slight creaminess and savouriness from the butter. And we also have maple syrup. So it's like sweet, a little bit savoury, and then soft and super fluffy. This set is really good because it has everything. It has like sweet, it has savoury. It's like the best of both worlds. Because Maccas in Australia don't do pancakes. I know that in Hong Kong and in, in Japan, they have that. But so here, I don't think they do unless I am completely oblivious to any changes in their menu. Okay, they also have hash browns. They look super, super crispy. Okay, I'm not sure what seasoning they have on these hash browns. I can taste like onion, garlic, some sort of herbs. It's very, very appetizing and the exterior is super crunchy and then on the inside it's very potatoey. It's exactly how you want a hash brown to be. What would be my favorite? I think my favorite is the McLovin muffin because I'm always like partial to things that are savory. Having said that, these pancakes are absolutely delicious. And the hash browns are pretty good as well. But if I had to choose a favorite, it would be this. They also give you extra chipotle mayo as well. So you can like, I guess, add to your muffin. I am here on a Thursday at, I arrived at about 12.30 and I didn't have to wait in line or anything. I got a seat pretty much instantly. So I guess like coming on a weekday is a lot better than coming on a weekend. I think if you come on a weekend, there's gonna be like a lot of people waiting in line. But yeah, I think you should definitely give this place a go. It's really good. <laughs> Whenever I come to Harbourfield, I always like to check out their IGA. They have such a good variety of deli meats and cheeses here. It smells like cheese the moment you walk in. And 
that is pretty much it for this video. I'm actually just about to head out to dinner, which you will see in my video next time. Um, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell. Leave me a comment. I'd love to read it. Thank you so much, Eb Smites. I hope I said that right. For your recommendation on what to do about the onion. I will definitely try that next time. So yeah, see you in my next video next week. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>